There's been a lot of flip phones that come to the market over the past number of years. And for the most part, they've been relatively good. We love the flexible displays, but they have been a little bit delicate and not necessarily a daily driver for a lot of us out there who are more into physical activities and want to have more creativity with our phones. But Oppo is trying to change that with the Oppo Find N2 Flip. A very first of its kind with some unique technology, very good cameras, and a vertical 3.2 inch OLED display on the front of it, which is going to change the game when it comes to flip phones. Anyway, we're gonna take it through its bases here. We're gonna walk and talk about what it's like to use as a creative tool. Not necessarily for, you know, daily stuff would we use for emails and messages and all that stuff, but how we can create with this device. We're running through its paces. Let's do it. Now, when we talk about flip phones, for the most part, a lot of these companies that try to market flip phones to the female audience, and I don't know why. I mean, when I was growing up, the StarTac and the Razer were badass phones. But I'm liking what Oppo's doing with the Find N2 Flip is they're also targeting this to the male audience, especially with this astro black color. It's beautiful, it's stealth, it matches the Hasselblad X2D, which I have in my backpack right here, and I absolutely love it. Now, for the females out there, we also have the Moonlit Purple, and some guys will like that as well if they want a little pop of color in their life. But for me, gotta go black, baby, because once they say, once you go black, you don't go back. One of the things I love about this design is this. Zero gap. No gap between the two displays when they're closed together. On other flip phones we've seen to the market, there is a bit of a gap. Oppo has refined this with a Flexion hinge. Now, when you look inside the phone, you're gonna notice a teardrop shape. So displays aren't necessarily folded together like a piece of paper. There's a teardrop and then they come together. But when you look at it from the outside, due to the great engineering from Oppo's team, it just looks like two displays melted together as one. But when, then when you open it up, you got about a 6.8 inch display on this, very relative to what we're using on smartphones nowadays, and it is fantastic. And I see a lot more smartphone manufacturers using this type of technology and engineering in their flip phones going forward because this is absolutely fantastic. When you run your finger over it, you barely feel a crease. Again, a testament to the engineering from Oppo's team we're creating almost an invisible crease, unlike what we're seeing from other foldable phones on the market. And this is gonna improve over time, for sure. I think over the next couple of years, we're gonna to get to a point where there's zero crease, and Oppo is definitely leading the way in that charge, because this looks fantastic to use on a daily basis. I don't see the crease, I barely feel it. It works great. Next, let's talk about one of the big design changes on this phone, which I absolutely love, and that is that 3.2 inch OLED display on the front. As you notice, it is, Vertical, not horizontal, because we live in a vertical world. We stand up, all of our Instagram reels and TikToks are shot in portrait mode or vertical mode. We live in a vertical world. Opal realizes that, hence why they got rid of the horizontal display on the, on the outside of it and made it vertical. This makes it a lot easier if you wanna do selfies, you wanna record video, if you're in a group photo per se, you wanna take a group shot. Gerald, come in here, come in here, we're gonna take a photo together. Cool things, you can take a group shot just by raising your hand to the screen, check this out. All right, thank you very much. Another thing you can do is actually make it your own tripod. That's right, not a tall tripod, but you can put it onto a table and you've got a nice shot like this on an angle. Once again, just hold on my hand like this. Three, two, one, there we go. Just think of the content you could create with this phone, with you and your loved one. Nice glass of, you know, Chianti. Mwah. Bellissima. So speaking of the outside display, you can have up to five widgets currently right now, as of the time I'm recording this. Now, the one I primarily use is the camera widget, because you can do portrait, video, and photography. Now, I hear there's gonna be a lot more widgets coming to market, like something from Spotify that we saw in the keynote. I'm looking forward to trying that out. But in the meantime, there's a lot of information that can be put on this 3.2 inch OLED display on the front facing, especially for the widget side of things. Now, anyway, Zachy, let's go inside. Let's shoot some awesome Turkish coffee content with video and photo. Let's go inside. Have you had Turkish coffee before, Zachy? No. Come on, let's do it. So what I'm doing now is using camcorder mode on this. So I've got it flipped like in an L shape. So that way you actually have a nice perspective when you're shooting, better for stabilization, and you can really move in on this. 
and the cameras on this for video are actually pretty good. So you can get some really good video quality and we're gonna show you what that looks like as well. Now, one of the things I appreciate about this camera system is the Hasselblad color science. Now, Oppo is partnering with Hasselblad once again. We've seen this in other phones from Oppo, and it is in this device. We've course, got a 50 megapixel for your main camera. Then you have a eight megapixel for your uh, ultra wide, and then you've got a 32 megapixel for your selfie camera. Now, of course, you can use the main cameras for your selfie with a flick conversion. We've already shown how to do that at previous times in this video, but it's the color science, the natural skin tones, the way that this pomegranate just pops on screen, the coffee, the colors here in Arab, in Arab Street and Kampong Glam, it's gorgeous. And that is a testament to what Hasselblad has been working on in their, in their camera systems, especially the Hasselblad X series of cameras, the X1D, X1D2, and X2D. And you're seeing that come in here with the Oppo collaboration with Hasselblad as well. One of the attributes that I like about this phone though, is it's sort of taking from Hasselblad's DNA from the V-series cameras, that waist level viewfinder, which you're gonna get some very interesting angles. And this is something when you look at images from the past years, from the early 30s, 40s, and 50s, a lot of images where you saw people were sort of from this angle, that's the reason for it. So what you can do with the Find N2 Flip is actually just flip it like this. You have the viewfinder here at the bottom, and then now I can actually capture images like this. So it's a different perspective, it's unique, it's fun. And as I walk through these, you can see all the colors and you can see the alleyway, but you're getting a different perspective altogether, which makes it very unique. And adds something interesting to the image. So when people look at your image, it's not just that standard like, hi, I'm taking your shot, but it's more like, it's a, person, a different perspective in the world. And it makes it really enjoyable to use. Now, one of the things I like about this phone is the Mary Silicone XNPU processor. It is a, it's like a neural processor that's inside of the Oppo Find N2 Flip. And I think this is where AI is coming into play. So it's really gonna help with lower light situations in terms of reducing the noise, keeping the color vibrancy, but at the same time, keeping the sharpness there. So your images are gonna look better in lower light than other phones as Oppo's claiming. Now, we're gonna show you some sample images from this beautiful lantern shop here to give you an idea of how this holds up, but it looks fantastic. But these lanterns are absolutely gorgeous. Now it's time to go into X-Pan mode. What is X-Pan mode? Well, Hasselblad back in the day made a panoramic 35 millimeter film camera. They actually made two versions of this, the X-Pan 1 and the X-Pan 2. Now those cameras nowadays are no longer in production and if you were to buy a mint condition one, they can be upwards to 10 to 12,000 US dollars. So to save yourself some money, <laughs> Oppo with the collaboration with Hasselblad has actually included the X-Pan mode in the Find N2 Flip. And so you can also shoot this in color and in black and white, and it gives you a very different perspective. So it is a panoramic image. You can shoot horizontal or vertical, and it's basically a 65 by 24 aspect ratio. So uh, taking images of these uh, lanterns right here, it, you're actually gonna get this entire shot like this. At the same time, I can go black and white, get a very cool dynamic as well. I'm gonna also show you some other images I've taken with the X-Pan mode, which is arguably one of my favorite features of the Find N2 Flip when it comes to the cameras is that mode. Now, one of the attributes that I like about this phone is actually the packaging, how it's presented to you. It comes in a very luxurious box, something different from other Oppo phones that we've had. And you know that this is special because when you open it up, it tilts forward to you. This is a premium phone from Oppo. Even though it's priced really good in the foldable market, this is premium. It comes with a fast charging brick inside of it, which we always appreciate our charging bricks, as well as cases for this, so to protect this as well, because this is an investment. We want to keep our flip phones looking as beautiful as possible without any scratches, and even though we've got some really durable glass and uh, construction behind it, it's always good to have a case on this. Also, pretty much all day battery life, around 4,300 4, milliamp battery inside of this. Now, when you're using both displays, of course, you're gonna see a little bit of battery drainage, but this is the largest battery out of any foldable phone that we're seeing in this form factor to date. So that's another step up for Oppo in that regard. 4,300 milliamp battery. If you don't use the outside display all the time, 
you're gonna get all day usage, no problem at all. Anyway, that's it for the specs, that's it for the packaging. Let's go and try something awesome with video. I've always had this idea, Zachy, because with this, we can record video and we're using the main cameras on the flip as you see the two camera cameras here. And if you notice it, here's video right here. Here's Zachy and myself. We can walk and we can talk. The microphones are there. What if we did an action scene, Zach? Because the camera here, when you have the flip down, it shoots in 1080, the stabilization is reduced. Now, the reason I did find this out from the Oppo developers, the reason it's only in 1080 is because they're worried about the heat coming from 4K that could affect the screen, especially since the screens are together, and also they reduce the stabilization. But that doesn't mean it's not usable. That means you become more creative with it. We're gonna pretend something's chasing me and that I gotta get away, all right? Here we go. What's going on? Let's run! Come on! Come on! Look out! Uh, look out! All right, folks, future Zaki here pulling you out of Bobby's wild imagination. Let's take it a step further and show you how to create a cool video concept with the N2 flip. First, we need to establish the story and the scene. Backpack? Yes. You're gonna look like you're carrying something like really expensive, running away from missing some thugs. Okay. And then we're gonna end up with a jump shot and then end this up in the alleyway and then you can go. Gotcha. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's do it. Woo! Step two, always plan your shots as if you're gonna be editing it. We're gonna actually want to like to call a camcorder mode to film this segment of the scene. Camcorders be... from the 90s. Exactly. Awesome. And we're gonna shoot it in 4K because we can hinge it. And if I ne ever need an angle, I can see it from half the screen. So it's not affecting me at all. I can still get a nice view. All right, in three, two, one, action. And rock. All right, so we got this bucket here, kind of use the clamshell mode, and then tilt it up so that when Bobby jumps over the bucket, it looks like it's giving it a, a nice a nice look to it. That's method acting right there. Shot. Got, ah. Yeah, and you're like leaning against something like nearby. Okay. Ah. Ah. And of course, the final step is to put it all together and enjoy the process. Check this out. Bobby Anna Jones, coming soon to theaters. Probably not. I'm sending this. This is my last message. Whoever it is who finds this, the flip is yours. Take it. Use it wisely. Thirty-second short film. We're done. All right, exactly. Good. <laughs> Good job, man. That's how we do it. Exactly. So fun ways to use the N2 flip. Anyway, this is a fun device, man. It really is. You know, we can go over specs. We could talk about all the specifications of the chipsets, but it's about what you could create with a device like this, which makes it fun. And it's pretty much got all-day battery life as well. It's got the largest battery video flip phone on the market. So. On top of that, a good video quality, pass of black colors, great photography, fun video. 4K 60s will also gives a little bit of slow motion of me jumping over. It's not the light, this is fun. Anyway, if you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. More great content on the way. Now it's time to take more photos.